Hello guys, I am Luzinel and welcome back to I the Somnium Files. Last time we were able to sing with Okira Mizuki. Uh, we're about to interrogate her. So we're about to find out what happened to her mom, probably, or what she saw at least. So yeah, let's just jump back into it and let's keep it going, let's keep it moving and enjoy this episode. Oh yeah, there is. Here's the recap. Right, we were with uh, Acet or Iris, and yeah, we were able to sync, get her to uh, talk in a kind way, of course. And apparently, we went on a route, uh, according to someone who I've talked to, who apparently played the has to play play the game. And there's like different routes that you can take in this in the actual story. So we took the the photo. If you remember, we'll restore the, the picture of her family. So I don't know, yeah, that would probably have something to do with well, what will happen in, yeah, in, in the future. So uh, let's talk with the, with the people first before we actually interrogate her. Uh, thoughts on the subject, maybe? How would I know? I don't know. We still don't have enough information. Well... Continue your investigation, special agent. Okay, I guess I... Well, can I ask something else? Oh yeah, I guess do you have any questions? Right, there was something. Yeah, this is what should be well we should ask. Hey, Mizuki. That makes sense. When we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Can you tell us why? When mm -hmm. I got there, the ice pick was it was it was stuck in my mom's eye. Mm -hmm. I couldn't think straight. I the only thing I could think was I had to get it out. Right. So you panicked and pulled it out. Yeah. And you held mm. on to it when you hid in the column. Yeah. Okay. That, that makes sense. Any other questions? Maybe? Okay, just one more question. All right. This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. The eye socket was empty. Oh. Yeah. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. Law shines in moments like this. Yeah. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. Okay. When we got to the scene. It was definitely missing. So it was already it missing. It has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. Right. Okay. About her muteness? Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Well, you meaning you and Iba. The boss yeah. has extraordinary perception. <laughs> I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. All you did oh was follow my instructions. Date, oh, Mizuki yeah. needs you. Protect her. Must protect. Yes. <laughs> uh, about what I saw in Somnium. Yeah. No need to report specifics. Okay, we never saw mind it all then. from here on the control room. Okay, that makes sense. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? I didn't know that. We've got it all I mean, recorded. That uh, should have known, probably. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. Pretty anyway, cool. We know about the figure you saw. Uh, I wonder who that could be. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Oof, I don't exactly remember who, who they're talking about. Let's talk with Pewter. How does Iba appear in Somnium? Uh, how do you think the subject is? About the. Yeah, I guess about Iba's appearance in Somnium. <laughs> right. Iba running. Uh huh. Iba is linked to your brain with an artificial nerve. To put it more simply, Iba is a part of your brain. Okay. During sinking, your consciousness is sent into the subject's somnium. Part of Iba's self is also synced, but only a okay. part. Okay. Not all of Iba's functions are transferred into somnium. So that's why Somnium Iba is so dumb. <laughs> Don't call me dumb. Right. <laughs> um, about Somnium? About Somnium? I don't know, should we really be talking about that? I feel like we should be interrogating Mitsuki. The person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Uh -huh. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker okay. dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. <laughs> but this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. 
the subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. Okay. That makes sense, I guess. So how can you can we interfere with that? Uh, what can we ask her before? Miss Wiggy's lying in the chair. She seems to be doing okay, but she's got that gloomy look in her eyes. I sympathize with her. Last night she saw her mother. She saw what no kids should have should ever have to see. It'll take a, it will take a while for her to get back to normal. Right. So, um, are you hungry? That's a good question. I'm fine now, but I didn't forget your promise. I promise. <laughs> To get the um, ramen, yeah. You said you'd take me. So you heard that, huh? Symphonia <laughs> only affects speech. Right. Her hearing should still be intact. Mm -hmm. Sure, Mizuki. When we're all done here. How are you oh. doing? I told you I'm fine. So annoying. <laughs> all right. I annoyed you already, huh? <laughs> the pressure is annoying. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. What? <laughs> I see she is back to her usual self. Yeah. Her attitude is within normal parameters. <laughs> I think I liked her better when she was silent. Damn, dude. Wouldn't say that. Um, no, I like her. Let's uh, let's keep going with Pewter. Just to... Uh, who do you think the subject is? Pewter, who do you think the culprit is? Oh, the culprit. I don't know why I said the subject. Well, let's see. Perhaps... It was... He what? You're right. <laughs> I'm kidding. What if it was me? Was he kidding? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> uh, about the figure I saw. Yeah, let's ask him too. No, oh, that. Dad, there we go. I saw it too. Who or what do you think it was? Hmm. Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person, projected into her subconscious. But she didn't see it? Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki saw and couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. Of okay. course, not everything we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. Right, I, I was joking about the blue men. You saw some strange things in Somnium earlier, didn't you, Dante? Oh yeah. That event you experienced <laughs> yeah. is obviously not as it happened in reality. Mm -hmm. Dreams are a collage of many memories, intertwining and blending with each other. Your skills as a sinker allow you to untangle those dreams and solve mysteries no one else can. That's really cool. Uh, about Iva's appearance. <laughs> Change the subject hey, real Peter, quick. When we were in Somnium earlier, Iva was in human form. Right. She's never looked like that before. That was Iva's idea. Oh. What? Huh. I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your taste. Wow. But part of that was my taste. <laughs> I know everything inside your mind. You don't have to hide it. Pewter, Iba's broken. She's talking crazy. <laughs> I am not broken. Perhaps Iba admires the human form. It's not that. It was just wow. a little something. I consider Kaname Date to be my host. I owe him gratitude. I simply thought that appearance would make him happy. Why would that make me happy? I don't know, she's getting cute. Anything else that we can ask the boss? I forgot. I think that's it, yeah, okay. Mitsuki, uh, oof, about the figure. Let's start, yeah, let's start chrono chronologically about the Nile message. I can't tell you. What? Why not? Right. Because I don't want to. That's not a reason. Yeah. You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. Hmm. I don't think she is going to answer. I don't when think so. When she is so. in a mood, it's <laughs> impossible to get her to talk. That's the kind of girl she is. Oh. Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. <laughs> How long do you think I've been observing her? It's been four years now. Correct. I know things that even you do not know. Like? Actually, never mind. Yeah. Some things I'm better off not knowing. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Mm. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. Oh. I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means, but it's taking me some time. Makes sense. Did she delete it? I feel like she probably deleted it. Say, Mizuki, huh. who's that figure I saw? I'm guessing she either didn't really uh, know who it was, or she is protecting that person. What? It was. Insomnia, in your dream, I saw a silhouette. Uh-huh. 
Date, Mizuki would not understand the question. She does not experience Somnium as you do. I guess so. You're witnessing a dream inside her brain. Well, yeah, that's a good point. Can you help us, Peter? Like, how can we? Nope. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, can can he like help us? You know, interpret that to her. Oops. Uh, ask he can, I guess. Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? I guess that's another I good did. question. Oh. I saw someone in the corner past the merry-go-round. Who did you oh. see? In the corner. I don't know. It was dark and raining. They hmm. looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. That's why, I, yeah, that's what I thought. That, that's why she doesn't have like a, a clear image of it. Bit, so I snuck in. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, summarize for me. Damn, are we gonna have her write an essay or something? Anything else? Summarize. Oh, we can ask everyone to summarize it. Summarize for me. I guess yeah, it's kind of mean to ask her. <laughs> I feel. Can we summarize it? I don't know. Do we have it? Let's see. Do we have any new information in the menu? Oh, we have persons. Oh, Peter. Okay. Or uh, are we gonna ask everyone? Anyway, to summarize it. I get the story. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious oh. person at the scene, <laughs> but she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe mm -hmm. there's something at the scene we missed. Date, Maybe. could you return to the scene of the crime? Again? There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. Probably, honestly. All right. So that's it. All we can do here, I imagine. We can look at other stuff, but yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, so let's go to Bloom Park again. <laughs> let's go back. Man, have we slept at all during this time? Saturday, 8.13 p.m. Interesting. When I returned to the scene, I brought Misuki with me. I saw a suspicious figure in Somnium, but I, could, but I couldn't be sure of its exact location. I brought Misuki down to pin it al uh, along to pin here, it down. Right? Yep. Yeah, yeah I, th I think over there, over that area. Can we tell with her? Misuki's looking behind the bush. Um, about the suspicious fear. Are you feeling cold? What do you care? <laughs> you never cared about me ever, and I liked it that way. I don't want you getting close to me. You think I like you now because I hugged you after the sink? Did you think, aw, how sweet she likes me? Damn. Don't get it twisted. I only hugged you because you were standing right in front of me. Could have been anything. Could have been a pole or cactus. In <laughs> fact, I wish it were a cactus. So stop worrying about me, okay? So she says. So she says. Okay. Um. <laughs> never mind then. Ah, uh, about the suspicious figure. You saw that. She's got a coat. She's fine, here, right? Yeah. All right. A man. I don't know. It was dark, but I think he was watching me. Oh. He was standing there in the rain with no umbrella. But I don't Weird. remember anything else. I got scared and went to hide inside the column. Anything else? Yeah, I do. So. What do you remember? I went to this amusement park when I was little. Hmm. I was four. I remember it so clearly. This is where I saw my mom and dad smile. From the picture? I had so many happy memories here. Oh. The only happy memories I really have are from here. Damn. Memories of my family are so bright and colorful. Mm -hmm. But now... Wow. It tainted the last... This is where mom... Yeah, this is the last uh, happy place that she had. Not ideal. What's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? <laughs> Everything is wrong. What? Wait, could we look at something? What? Oh. Past the bush. In the past, there would have been a nice paved path there. It's covered in bush and weeds now, but I can still make out the trail uh, heading back. The figure went this way. Okay. Should we go that way? Nothing. Just wondering where this goes. Right. It's good looking behind the bush. I guess I should check it out. Alright. Should we go then? Iba, what's past here? This leads to the subway. No. Oh. It has of course closed down. It is no longer in service. But it could have been an escape route. This is due to the explosion at the chemical plant that occurred years ago. Okay. The surrounding district of Kawasaki was contaminated and declared off limits. Bloom Park closed for the same reason. Right. As did all commerce and industry in Kawasaki. This means the railroads and public transportation to and from this area were shut down as well. Okay. I'm thinking of like a motive. Because this is like a very specific place, especially with the history that it has. Subway. Iba, 
Does the entire track run underground? No. The track leading northward from Bloom Park eventually rises to ground level. Okay. At a railroad crossing? Correct. Then the tracks must cross a surface street at some point. Correct. Mm -hmm. A railroad crossing. Railroad crossing. Iba, do me a favor. Can you see if any cars were driving on that surface street last night? Ooh. Searching. Hey, you've been quiet for a long time. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm just thinking. Yeah. I've got something. I <laughs> mean, pretty much. I picked up a single vehicle traversing that street last night. Oh, a boy. SUV. I ran the plate through the vehicle registration database to find the owner. Who was it? Oh. Shoko Nadami's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Oh, boy. Renju Okiura. I was afraid over that. Oh. So it was either stolen or he, he or he is a culprit. You think that daddy drove his car on the tracks through the tunnel, stopped at the closed down station and carried mom's body to the park? I can't prove it was Renji. Ooh, right, because we were saying that, yeah, the body should have been moved because the, there was no uh, blood stains on the There's a chance on the horse. Someone else was driving the car. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but in any case, I know that the suspect must have used the subway tracks. That explains why there were no cars parked near the scene. Using yeah. that subway station, he could take the body right to the merry-go-round without being caught on camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Daddy a whole infiltration it. route. I am not so certain. Yeah. Either way, I have to talk to Renju, and you can help me find him. All right, let's do it. Oh, can we talk with her? Yay. Uh, about the suspicious figure, when was the last time you saw your dad? You look like you want to say something about the nail message. Yeah, why do we live together? She's trying to act tough, but I can tell she's nervous. Yeah. Uh, you look like you want to say something? I don't want to say anything. I guess it's a conversation I starter. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to anyone who thinks my daddy is a killer. Look, I don't want to believe it either. I've known yeah. him for more than five years now. He's like family to me. I never want to put cuffs on him. I will never want Mitsuki to see that. Anyway, Renju just isn't the kind of guy who will commit a crime like this. Who knows? Think about a week ago, when I went to hang out at Lemon Escape. Did you notice anything different about him? Nothing really. He was the same as usual. And he didn't come to see the hospital, did he? No. Not even for his own daughter. Yeah, that that's weird. Very unusual. Very unusual. A well, suspicious figure about the Nile message. Mizuki. Should we keep pressing on that? Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? Oh. I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? <laughs> There's a message sent at 805 last night. Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Oh. That is weird. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... Mm. So you kept quiet. Yeah. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Oto. Yeah. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime right there. Right. Suzuki must have been worried about going alone. Yeah. That is weird. That is really weird. Uh... Oh. Uh, we, no, we already looked. I forgot. <laughs> uh, when was the last time you spoke with your dad? Again? I don't remember. It was a while ago. What about you? What about uh, me? <laughs> you tried calling him. I did. I called earlier. and I tried a few times last night. Yeah. The moment we got to the up? crime scene. No. Sure didn't. Wait, so... Mm, is he gonna be dead too? Because this... Yeah, because we haven't seen him. Like, at all. Uh, a suspicious figure? Hey, Mizuki, tell me again. The person you saw at the merry-go-round. No, it wasn't Daddy. I know it wasn't. You're sure? Well, I... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if it doesn't show up, it, it means it's hard to tell. Uh, about the night message, I guess? But it couldn't be him. Why not? Daddy couldn't have sent the message. Someone mm. else must have used his phone. <laughs> and his car. Daddy wasn't driving the car either. Somebody else did it. The it's, killer did it, not it Daddy. It would have been. The only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okiura. I mean, if he... Well, I don't know. Has, have people seen him? He wasn't being interrogated before, right? Date, 
Incoming call from the boss. Oh. Connected. Yep. What's up? Hey, I just got the report from Ivar. Renju is a suspect? He's definitely suspicious. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think he's our number one suspect. He's been acting <laughs> strange since last night. He yeah. Mizuki in the hospital, won't pick up his phone, and he vanishes after okay. questioning. Yeah, he was he was he was being questioned. I forgot about that. Doesn't it. have an alibi for the time of the murder either. He doesn't have an doesn't alibi for anything. Yeah. No, not one we can corroborate. Oh boy. So, uh, why did you release him? Any idea what Renju is? About Renju's questioning? About Renju's alibi? Yeah, why did we release him? So Renju was questioned at a local station. That's right. Then why didn't you keep him there? Right. That's Protocol. weird. Nothing we could do. Protocol. We wasn't a suspect then, and we had nothing to charge him with. We couldn't hold him. Weird. Uh, I can see both through my left eye. I've been streaming in the image in real time. Oh, I don't have a cell phone. Never care for them. But I can connect to any network in range. That's how I'm able to communicate with HQ. Interesting. The Mizuki, I look like I'm talking to a Bluetooth. She doesn't see what I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, any idea where he is? That's no, a good I question. You he vanished. Where are you headed? Renju's house. Don't bother. I had local hmm. cops search the place. They didn't find anything. Where could well, he be? Uh, hang up the phone about Renju's alibi. Yeah, that's a good Shogun's question. time of death was estimated to be about 5 p.m. yesterday. Renju claims that he was at home Right. Yeah. Neighbors, maybe? I don't know. Does he have neighbors? How about the questioning? That's very suspicious, but I feel... I don't know. I feel like they might be able to... All right, boss. Yeah. I feel like they might be leading us through a, a different path. Let me know if you find something. You too. Keep me in the loop. Will do. Where the hell did Renju go? I don't know. It's very weird. Uh, Sunpoke? What? what? Sunpoke? Um, Sunpoke. Or something. Oh, Sunfish Pocket. Renju was telling me about that place. It's a what? maid cafe that he runs. Oh. I found he runs a maid cafe. Approximately okay. <laughs> 6.2 miles north north Alright, Renju, I see you. In Akihabara. Akihabara, ooh. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I doubt we'll find him there. 10, 20 p.m. Damn, this is past Missouri's uh, time of sleeping. Sleep time. Bedtime. There we go. That's what I meant. <laughs> Up, passing through. Okay. Can't be. No. Oh, shoot. I mean, I suspected it. That's how you really shouldn't have let her see that. See this. Renju. Damn. Well, he was. Oh, he is missing an eye too. Well, damn. Day three, Sunday. Shoku I don't know what that means. Please headquarters, Sunday, 9:17 a.m. Great. Just great. So, uh... You look awful. Have you been sleeping any? My best friend was murdered, boss. I don't have it in me to sleep right now. Yeah. Fair, I guess. What do you have to say, Peter? Peter looks surprisingly serious. <laughs> I mean, you will be. Uh, what happened to Mizuki? That's a good question. She's sleeping at the hospital. They're going to give her counseling after she wakes up. I see. Yeah. Her mother and her father. I hope she'll be okay. I hope so too. Uh, what about you? Yeah. Of course not. I still got a mountain of work piled up, answering to the higher ups, the press. I'm just taking a little breather. It's fair, I guess. I'll rend you. You were the first on the scene, so you know this better than anyone, but. Renju was murdered. Yeah. No way this is a suicide. I don't know about that. And the fact that his left eye was removed tells well, me that this was the same killer as Shoko. That's a good point. Serial killer. Yeah. The new Cyclops killer. What? Is that what that's you're calling the it? Name that's been spreading around headquarters. Mm. New. Yes. 
several years ago. Cuter. Yeah, they did say, they mentioned that. <sighs> there is no point in hiding it from him. He would find out on his own eventually. And we are missing an eye. It's Were we victims the of the same killer? These murders have gone viral, so to speak. The killings from six Ooh. years ago have continued. The Cyclops killer is back. Six years ago? Is that what you were talking about, boss? Yep. <sighs> Fine. I suppose you deserve to know. Sure to do. How about the incident six years ago? Anything else, Peter? Why are you... Why, why are you oh. here? Yeah, that, I mean, sounds was rude, but it's Am a good I question. Am I not allowed to be here? No, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> right. I was here first. I was just talking to the boss about Renju's murder. Just in trouble. Two murders, one right after the other. How could I not be? Oh, yeah. Renju had his left eyeball removed. Right. Shoko, too. And so do we. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. Peter keeps saying left that. Eye, so you steal them from others. That's not. I'm kidding. Only a joke. I'm too tired for your jokes right now, Peter. Yeah. Actually, you lost your eyes six years ago, correct? Yeah. Yes, but I don't remember anything from back then. I lost my eye and my memories. I was transplanted into your empty eye socket a year later. We have been right. together for more than five years. Hey, nice anniversary. All right, it's time for the truth about the incident. We have a name for it down at HQ. The original Cyclops serial killings, to distinguish it from this new one. Okay. It was six years ago in October. Four bodies were found in the mountains of Akikawa Valley. I am. But the decomposition of the corpses were all at different stages. Uh. They were each killed sometime during May to September of that year. Okay. But they did have two things in common. They were all young women, and... Each corpse was missing their right eyeball. With the Renju guy, so Cyclops, yeah. A few days after the corpses were discovered, the killer sent a statement to the press. I killed them, and they are now my dear companions. Something like that. He signed the statement under the name Cyclops, hence the name the Cyclops Killer. The Fair. Cyclops is a mythological race of one-eyed giants. Uh -huh. According to Greek myth, they are the children of Uranus, god of the sky, and Gaia, goddess of Earth. Cyclops were known for their outstanding strength and smithing ability. So the letter to the press wasn't a fake? It was the real killer? Yes, Ooh. it had to be. A picture of one of the victims right after she was killed was sent along with the letter. Ooh. Was this Cyclops captured? That's a good question. Probably wasn't. Yeah. No, in six years we never got a single trace. Damn. So maybe Cyclops is responsible for these murders as well. It could be. No. That's impossible. Why? Right. For one, the original Cyclops killer only killed women. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Renju doesn't fit that profile. Well... Second, all of the victims had their right eyes removed, but Shoko and Renju... Oh... Left eye. The left eye, okay. That's what... The yeah, timing that, of the eye removal is also inconsistent. That's why we were saying that, um... That this was probably a copycat, you know, the actual... The original Cyclops killer. killer removed the eyes after the victims were killed. Okay. But Shoko and Renju were both still alive. But even so, you can't say for sure this isn't our guy. Maybe they're just doing things a little differently now. Yeah. Or do you have another reason? Oh. I'm sorry, Date, I can't say anymore. What? Bullshit, you can't. It's a national secret. How can it be a national secret? Yeah. Date, please, forget about it. I told you already, you don't need to know anything about that case to investigate this one. The criminals Sounds for this like case and case six years ago are not the same. Iba, bring up all investigation records of the original <laughs> Cyclops serial killings. I already had a look through the database while you were talking. Unfortunately, I found no relevant information. I also did not discover anything about Fair enough. on the internet. Only mm. amateur theories, all lacking <laughs> credibility and evidence. Damn it. Yeah. Any other information? What about you, Pewter? Oh, that's it. Okay. Nope. Sorry. I didn't. Nope. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Any other information? That's all we have for now. Mm. All right. 
Special Agent Date, we need you to continue your work. Right. I think I'll head back to where Renju was found. Sunfish Pocket. Yep. Date, you're exhausted. Why don't you get some sleep before you continue your investig- I'm fine. Let's go, Iva. Understood. You should really get some sleep, but I can't imagine you will be able to. Alright, let's go. Sunfish Pocket, here we go. Yes. Alright. I like this uh, little scene. Trouble. Oh, hi, Misuki. Date, the vehicle is accelerating 2% slower than usual. Did you put anything in the trunk? No. What, what? about the back seat? Back seat? Uh, did you not notice? <laughs> Mizuki! <laughs> hey, watch out! You didn't Ice know. Forward, stupid. Mizuki climbed up the front and sat in the passenger seat. Thanks for not showing the animation. All right, weird. <laughs> what are you doing here? Yeah, <laughs> there we go. I ditched the hospital. No, oh, what? Probably freaking out over there right now. I'm taking you back. No, don't. Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. You're going to investigate, right? Take me with you. I can help. How is a little how? runt like you getting <laughs> help? Well, I wouldn't say like that, but I was gonna ask. Like, how can you help? Sorry, again, my camera I'm man. Renju's daughter. Maybe I'll notice something you don't. Something only his daughter would know. I don't know. <laughs> My daddy was killed. Yeah. I can't just stay at the hospital. Ah, oh, boy. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> don't say I never did anything for you. Yeah, You're there we go. To take me along? Just promise not to interfere with the investigation. Got it. All right. What are you looking at me for? Oh. Watch the road. I always have my head like this when I drive. You were looking forward before. <laughs> no, I was just projecting an illusion. This is the real me. You project an illusion when you're by yourself? <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't you? They want to catch a suspect. How are you doing? How did you even get in here? I mean, I know he's gonna, she's gonna get mad if we ask how she's doing, but... Well, I can still talk this time. Maybe I'm just getting <laughs> used to it. Mizuki's psychological wounds have been healed by the sink. I guess so. Nice weather we're having. Stop. How did you even get in here? Well, yeah, how did you even get in it here? It wasn't locked. I just opened the door. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Damn. Why don't your doors have auto locks? I know you like old cars, but you gotta lock the doors. I mean, you should yeah. be a little more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. Suzuki <laughs> does raise a valid point. If you are not more serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. <laughs> you too? <laughs> so, they want to catch the suspect. No, it's more like I don't like sitting still and moping all day. I've grown out of my brooding, pretentious teenager phase. Odd what? thing for a preteen to say. Yeah. <laughs> Are you not aware of Mizuki's mental prowess? She is far more developed than her classmates. I mean, I could She's tell been that. Reading psychology papers by Alfred Adler. Sounds pretentious to me. <laughs> Well, Renju, uh, I don't know. Nice weather we're having. That, that's You've not gonna. You have to talk about. You don't have to say anything. Fair enough. Fair You're enough. An adult, shouldn't you know that already? If you start talking about the weather, it means you have nothing to say. Damn. Yeah, brat. <laughs> All right. Your neck doesn't hurt doing that. No pain, no gain. <laughs> what? Wow. Adults have to make sacrifices. They'll understand when you're older. I don't think I'll ever understand you. <laughs> Me neither, honestly. Probably. You were talking to yourself again. I heard you. It's creepy. You should cut that out. <laughs> I'm not talking to myself. I was talking to Aiba out loud before I noticed Misuki in the car. Oh, right. That must be what she was referring to. Uh, what she's referring Mizuki to. Misuki is still unaware I exist. Yeah, I know there's no reason to hide it since she already knows about Abyss. It's yeah. It's just hard to explain. I won't say anything yet. Kind of. Understood. But I am ready to be introduced <laughs> at any time. Just let me know when the time is right. All right. It's not a proposal. No need to be so formal. <laughs> Shit, I said yes, so. Dante, wow. I think you should go to the hospital. <laughs> nah, I'm okay. I'm okay. How are you? Hey, about Renju. About yeah. Renju. Do you have anything to tell me? Anything at all that might help? Yeah. Well, it's not about Daddy, but I heard from Daddy that Mom had a secret. Shoko had a secret? Weird. What is? Yeah, what is her secret? I mean, I don't did think she know knows. Did you know Mom was the representative of an investment company? Yeah, I did. That whole company was a big scam. A scam? Oh. Well, I don't know the details. They <laughs> start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. Wow, she yeah. Got really rich like that. I've heard about that. Shoko did this? Damn. 
Yep. <laughs> yep. No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. Right. We saw gangsters there sometimes. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. Jeez. I am scanning all known crime databases, but I cannot find any reports referencing this. They must have mm. been extraordinarily careful. Yeah. I'm glad that you're okay, yeah. Agreed. I'm not okay. Right. So, you want to go back to the hospital? <laughs> I'd be more than happy to drop you off. That's not what I meant. Why are you always so pushy, Date? <laughs> I'm not pushy, I don't know. just worried. You've got a weird way of showing it. Doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. You've always got something smart to say, huh? Just like Renju. Date. Oh. What about Daddy? Nothing. You have no tact, do you? This is why you're <laughs> right. single and always will be. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I look like a single father when you're around. Chicks love it. Yeah, chicks love to see creepy old men hanging out with a sixth grader. Hey, what are you implying? Ooh, did I make you mad? Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. What is I'm happening? I'm not an old creepy pervert. And even if you were my age, you're not my type. <laughs> Ew, I don't want to know about your type. Brian, hey, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Stupid old man. Punk ass kid. What the hell? Okay, so this is the this is that kind of movie. The typical body cop with a with a uh, young smart girl and the the West Off agent. West Off agent. That's what I meant. Anyway, <laughs> Sunfish Pocket Sunday, ten thirty three a.m. Scene of the crime. Is okay. I walk back into sun oh, sun sun summer uh, Sunfish Pocket. Good to see you. Are we Have you used through no. the case file yet? Huh. We're using through the normal tape now. Oh, oh, I am so sorry. She's the victim's. Yes. yes. Please let us through. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> so that's where he was. Yeah, he was being held up by those canisters. Like gas canisters? They seem to be. Oh, beer keg. Never mind. All right. Uh, yeah, we can do some investigation. Still have some time. Our way to the kitchen. Can we ask the inspector? Yeah. It's your name. What? I was asking for your name. Yeah. My name is Kagami. Okay. Is it's that your name? Kagami. Kagami. I told you it's Kagami. I told you my name like five times. All right. Um, are you getting enough rest? That's a good point. No, not these past few days. Mm -hmm. That's fair. I thought so. Yeah. Once this is over, get some rest, all right? You too, Detective Date. Yeah. Hey, remind me, what's your name? I, of course, remember his name. Oh, okay. <laughs> any leads? No, we didn't find anything today. Hey, remind me again, what's your name? His name is engraved in my mind. <laughs> all right, fair. I won't ask again. Mother Inspector, I hope you find some clues. His name is... Hey you, what's your name? Seriously? It's Kagami. Stop bugging him, it's rude. Excuse you, my best friend uh, Kagami and I are having a <laughs> conversation. Yeah, don't spoil our fun. What? <laughs> your name, hey, got an achievement, nice. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing that. Oh, surveillance camera. Did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Ooh. Unfortunately, no. What? All the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. What about backups? Yeah, there backups. What? Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. Man, why is it cheap? Pictures. There are pictures of girls on display. Probably the girls that are working here. Right. What are you staring at, creeper? I agree. <laughs> I mean, we're just researching. Pictures of mates on display. Yeah. Anything else about the camera? Oh yeah. Oh, hold on. So there is no footage of the incident. Never mind. Okay. What's the status? Yeah. Nothing special. Nothing special. Okay. The officer is guarding the doorway. Ah, oh, boy. Both officers are guarding. Okay. The club is located on the second floor of the building. We use the elevator to get here. Oh. Iba, can you check the operation records of this elevator? So is this like, yeah, Searching. interesting. Found it. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once. Hmm. At 8.55, the weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. Okay, should I remember that? Probably, right? <laughs> the elevator only stopped on the second floor once last night. 
and with about 310 pounds inside. But wasn't that, wasn't that where we, we like us, right? That sounds like it was us. Let me see in person, inspector. <laughs> yep, Kagami. <laughs> Just likes people who don't remember his name. Cilantro? What? He was actually added as a file, I love that. There's so many characters still left to find out. It's cool. I'm glad there's still some time. Uh, oh, Mizuki, let's ask her. Yeah. I uh, noticed anything strange. Do you remember what you saw last night? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna ask her if she can, if she wants to leave. Do you remember what you, uh, what you saw last night? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. Not until the day I die. Damn. All right, moving um, on. You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. Yeah. I know what I said. I'll tell you <laughs> if I notice anything. Okay, fair enough. Table, can't find any clues on it. Mizuki's looking at the spot where we found hey. Renju. Oh, sorry, just staring. If you're having a hard time, you can tell me. I'm fine. It's not like the body is lying here. I mean, it wasn't lying earlier. Either. Did you hear me? I said I'll tell you if I see anything. Okay, 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 okay. Nothing else, the sign, store signboard. Oh, I guess I wish we should analyze the actual evidence. <laughs> Rin's car was hung up by three wires. The wires were tied to three kegs. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. Okay. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. Mm. 55 pounds, interesting. Three kegs on the floor, each can hold 20 liters, 55 pounds when filled. Anything else? The inspector is investigating something. Okay. Uh, anything else we can analyze? Uh, you can leave if you need to, I guess. I thought I already told you. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still. I yeah. know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene, you think it's totally weird, right? I mean, it's... In fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. <laughs> it is. But, but this is what I wanted. I didn't want to run away from it. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want to be weak. You're not weak. Anything else? Jeez, you're pushy. Well, I just want to know. Pushy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. Stop. Besides, dot. Hmm? What's up? Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was she going to say? Yeah. Now is not the time to worry about such things. What are you talking about? Anything else? Are you really okay? Yeah, I am. Don't you have an investigation to do? Or are you stalling? <laughs> okay. This will get stuff, but deep inside. Yeah, she's gotta still be struggling. Uh oh, the the wires? Maybe? No. Weird. Oh. Light? It's a light that looks like a jellyfish. Probably not a clue. Right. I mean that's what I'm thinking. Menu? Dragon's menu. Palace pasta, eighteen hundred yen. Eighteen hundred? Isn't that pretty average? Yeah, I this was gonna say. Average? <laughs> Doesn't sound very uh, expensive. The store's menu. Okay. Uh, oh, the barrel, the counter. Oh, the counter. Near this counter. Yeah. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death, but no traces of that have been found in the area nor on the corpse itself. Oh. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> It must have been considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. What do you mean? Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. I can okay. estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Makes sense. But what? Wait, but what does that have to do? Can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Of course. Zoom. Oh. Uh, left eye? The left eye has been pulled this out. This case bears similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. Mm hmm Anything else? Run your shako. Okay, yeah, we know that. Uh face. Oh. The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. It is a common sedative. The oh. dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. Interesting. But he was, yeah, the neck. He was like strangled or something. There are deep impressions left on his neck. Correct. The mm -hmm. face shows clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Right. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck. 
choking hmm. him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due hmm. to vessel closure in the neck. Right. But more simply, the suspect strangled Ranju to death from behind. Yeah, but there are some very clear markings we on the neck. We have TOD. Yesterday, around 8 p.m. Damn. So Renji was murdered about two hours yeah. before Kazuki and I found the body. Yeah, and at 8.50 was it? That someone came up the, the elevator. Okay, okay, the hook. Can we look at the hook? Nope. Uh, body. The time of discovery was 10.20 p.m. Mm -hmm. You of okay. course already know this, but you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. Yeah, a that's... hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. There was also a hook on the other end of each mm -hmm. wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. Yeah. We have found no fingerprints. All right. Oh, no, that's it. Okay, yeah, because it told me to exit. <laughs> Anything else in the counter? Renju weighed about 160 pounds. It was definitely more than someone else. Then carried here. Wait, so back here, 160. Um, with about 310 pounds. Wait, so... Okay, the, the kegs... Because they, they were very specific about giving us that weight. 165 plus... 160. Oh, okay. So that's 300 and what? 55? Wait, what? <laughs> 305, right? No. Am I right? I'm, no, I'm wrong about that. Yeah, it, it was definitely way more if it was the, the cakes and the... Right, because the cakes were probably in, in here already, since it's like a bar. I was we're, we're supposed to just look at everything. Oil drum. This oil drum must be some kind of interior decor. The capacity of this oil drum is 200 liters. Okay. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. When empty. Check inside. Uh, X-ray. Oh, there's a clock. Oh, it's Ranger's clock, isn't it? What? Yeah. There's something inside. Mm-hmm. Step up to the drum. This is the oil drum. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Uh-huh. Let's open it. Okay. <laughs> Word change of shot. There it is. This is... Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, yeah, we have the, the gloves. This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? Interesting. I don't I know. We checked everything we need to. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. What do you mean? Right. There are still people I want to talk to. Who? Who do you want to talk to? Any places you can think of that I don't know about? Do you want to talk to Iris? Do you want to talk to Ota? Ooh. I'm guessing to Ota? Yeah. Ota is in here all the time. He might know something. Uh -huh. I'll call him. Ota's phone is broken. He oh, dropped yeah. it in a puddle. He mentioned that. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. <laughs> You'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemniscate or Matsushita Diner. Probably at Lemniscate. Uh, do you want to talk to Iris? That's a good question. Yeah. Daddy owned Lemniscate and Iris works for them. She used to work here too. So she might know something. Oh. I'll call her. Interesting. Mizuki tried calling Iris, but there was no answer. That is bad. <laughs> if or um, any idea where she might be? If the history <laughs> history repeats itself. I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. <laughs> she might be live streaming right now. Doesn't want to be disturbed, you know. Any well, other places? There is one place. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the entertainment district? Daddy used no. to go to a place called Marvel a lot. Maybe they know something about him. Uh, Misuki's looking this way. All right, let's head out. Lemniscate, Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Let's head out. Okay. Okay. All right. But, wait, actually. Yeah, actually, let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Sunday, Matsushita Diner. It doesn't say the time. Sunday already, though. Hello, welcome. You're Misuki, right? Otis friend? Yep. And you... Oh, I suppose I should introduce <laughs> myself more formally. At least something a little more than flashing your badge. My right. Name is Kaname Date. Mr. Date, what can I help you with? All right. Let's actually leave that here. Let me save real quick. Um, yeah, we'll continue the investigation next time. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have been enjoying this. 
Uh, yeah, I certainly have. It's been interesting. Um, I mean, this this episode has been really intense. Like, it has been a whole roller coaster of emotions. Uh, so hopefully, I don't know, hopefully we'll make more progress in the investigation, which we see, it seems like we have. So, um, I don't know, I, I hope there's a moment where I'm like starting to kind of piece together, because still, yeah, the, uh, the pieces aren't still falling through, really. I still don't know who could be... I don't know, I mean, clearly we haven't met everyone, uh, uh, based on the luck, so we still have a lot to do, clearly. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah. Hope to see you next time. Check out other of my videos if you want. Links in the description. And yeah, thank you once again so much for watching. I'm Lucy and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. I still think that is pretty weird. <laughs> Not gonna lie.